In an ideal world, every goal action on your website would have a dedicated confirmation page. This would make goal tracking a lot easier in both Google Analytics as well as your paid media channels. Unfortunately, this isn't the case. We run into a lot of websites where we can't use a URL for our goal tracking. We have to use tools like Google Tag Manager to be able to track certain events like video views, button clicks, link clicks, things like that, and be able to import those back into the paid media channel to get some sort of idea of how our campaigns are performing. Now we already have a video about Facebook event tracking, and you can view that one in this link right here. But today we want to talk about how you can do event tracking with LinkedIn. So in this video, we're going to show you how you can use Google Tag Manager to track those events on your website like we just talked about and import them back into LinkedIn so you get a better idea of how your LinkedIn campaigns are actually performing. Before you even head into LinkedIn ads, I recommend you have your event tracking in place first. You may have these events already set up in your Google Tag Manager, but if you don't, think of all the conversion actions that are important to you that you cannot track with a dedicated confirmation URL. Again, your form might submit but not have a thank you page, or you might be looking at softer conversion actions like email link clicks, telephone number clicks, chat interactions, video views, or maybe external link clicks. So in this example, I went to my personal website and in my bio, I added a link to the Paid Media Pro's YouTube channel. Now I haven't updated this site in years, but let's pretend this is how I have it formatted. And I consider anyone clicking on this Paid Media Pro's image that links to our YouTube channel, I wanna track that as a goal. So let's head back. Again, just confirming, one of the goals of whatever campaign I may be running is to drive as much traffic to the YouTube channel as possible. It's a link. There is no confirmation URL for me to set up a URL-based goal within LinkedIn ads. So in order to track this event, we need to head over to Google Tag Manager. Once we are in Google Tag Manager, head on over to the left-hand side and choose Triggers. In this case, I don't have a trigger already created for any user who clicks on that image link to the YouTube channel, so we need to create a new one. First, name your trigger. Then click on Trigger Configuration. Even though it was an image, that image had a link to it. So this trigger type is going to be for links. And I don't want to track all link clicks, so we need some link clicks. Now I'm going to choose when this trigger will fire. In this particular case, I want to choose the specific click URL. And then I need to add the URL. Now I can click Save. And we can see the Paid Media Pro's link click trigger has been created in Google Tag Manager. Again, this is just one goal. So you're going to have to create separate triggers for every separate goal action that you might want to track within LinkedIn ads. Because the trigger is the action that we actually want to record. Now let's head into LinkedIn Campaign Manager. And that will show you how we can use these triggers to set up the event tracking goals within the channel. Once you are in Campaign Manager, head up to the top navigation and click Account Assets. Then click on Conversions. I don't have any conversions created yet, so I'm going to create a new one. First step, we have to name our conversion, and then we have to start entering our settings. First, we have to choose a conversion type. This will help you categorize the action that you are looking to track as a conversion. The next piece is optional. We can add a dollar amount to our goal conversion that can better help estimate the return that we're getting on our ad spend investment. So if you have a CRM and you can track lifetime value, or you have any means to really calculate how much a goal action is actually worth, you can enter in a specific dollar amount. But for this video, I'm just going to skip this step. Next, we want to set the time window for click-through conversions as well as our view-through conversions. For both click-through conversions and view-through conversions, we have four window options. Going from shortest to longest, it is one day, seven days, 30 days, 90 days. So that'll be your decision depending on which options you want to choose for both click and view-through conversions. Scrolling down a little bit, we can then select our attribution model. By default, LinkedIn Ads is going to have Last Touch for each campaign within your ad account. But you do have the option to change it to Last Touch for the last campaign the user interacted with. Next, we can choose which campaigns we want to track the conversion. This is just a sandbox account for me, so I can play around and create some examples. But in your account, you could have several different campaigns. You can choose all campaigns, or if this specific goal that we're creating is only applicable to specific campaigns, you can then select those specific campaigns. Scrolling down again, here is where we get to the actual track your conversion portion of the setup. The recommended way is by using the LinkedIn Insight tag. Here's where, and we can see in this portion right here, is where you would set up your URL-based conversions. But that's obviously not why you're watching this video. So we need to select the other option of use an event-specific pixel to track when there is no unique URL. And even LinkedIn gives the button click example. And here's where LinkedIn will give you a specific piece of code that we're going to want to implement within Google Tag Manager. Even though I'm showing you most of the code, I had to blur out a portion of it because it's specific to my account. But even looking at all the code that's here, even the blurred out portion, we don't need the entire piece of code. 
Don't click create yet. Let's hop back into Google Tag Manager and start creating our tag for this specific LinkedIn conversion. We are back in Google Tag Manager and we're still on our triggers page, but now we want to choose tags, which is also in the left-hand navigation. Here I already have a variety of tags set up. I even have my LinkedIn Insight tag set up, but again, we're not creating audiences or we're not using the URL-based goal conversion tracking. So in this case, we actually do not want anything to do with the LinkedIn Insight tag. So let's go up and create a new tag. And as always, we have to name our tag. Then in tag configuration, we see it towards the bottom. We want to choose custom image. Now underneath the tag type, this tag asks for an image URL. To get this specific URL, we need to head back into the LinkedIn campaign manager. Now remember this piece of code at the bottom, and I said we didn't need the whole thing? That's because we only need to copy the source URL option that's part of this code. Unfortunately, when you hover over the code, we can only copy the entire thing. So let's copy this code, and then I like to paste it into a notepad. This will allow me just to highlight over the URL that I need, and then using the short keys on my keyboard, I can just copy it, head back over to Google Tag Manager, and paste it into the image URL field. Next, you will wanna uncheck the Enable Cache Busting option. Next, we wanna choose our trigger. And of course, we wanna select the Paid Media Pros link click option that we just created. So before I click save, we can review it. I have the specific image URL that calls out a pixel ID and a conversion ID. Unfortunately, those have to be blurred out, but you can see it within the URL. So I'm telling LinkedIn for this specific pixel, whenever someone clicks on that Paid Media Pros link, fire and record it for this specific conversion ID. So now we can save this conversion action and the tag is created within Tag Manager. Just also make sure that you go back into LinkedIn Campaign Manager and save that conversion action. So now whenever you go back into LinkedIn Campaign Manager, head back up to your account assets and choose conversions, you will see other conversion actions that you have created. Let's do one more really quick. So on my website, I have a playlist of some speaking events and some webinars and some podcasts that I've been a part of. And I already have a tag and a trigger created in Tag Manager that can record how people are watching these videos on my website. So I'm gonna go through the really quick campaign setup. I'm gonna leave the campaign tracking as is. Again, choose my event specific pixel. And even though I had to blur it out, when I create a new conversion action, that conversion ID is different within that URL. So I'm gonna copy this code again, open up a new notepad and paste it, copy the image URL. Now I'm gonna create another tag for my second conversion. Let's make a new tag. Again, custom image option, paste in our new image URL, disable the cache busting, and then select our trigger. So if you have specific triggers already created, the event tracking setup for LinkedIn is gonna be a lot quicker. I'll select the one I need, and then I'll save this second tag. Now what I always recommend doing before you push anything live in Google Tag Manager is to preview these tags. So if we click on preview, we are in preview mode. And now we wanna head back to our website, hit refresh, and we can see already which tags have fired on this page. In Tag Manager, you remember I had a bunch of pixels already set up, and I can see that they're all firing correctly. But if I scroll down a little bit, I will wanna see if clicking on this link will fire my LinkedIn tag. So I'm gonna hit Control and click on it, and there we see in the summary our LinkedIn Paid Media Pros link click tag. That one works just fine. Now let me head over to the other page and test out some video views. Here's where I have my embedded video playlist. If I click on the YouTube Start button, and there we see once I started playing, the LinkedIn on-site YouTube view tag fired off. So on my end, these tags look good. I'm gonna head back into Tag Manager, leave preview mode, and now I could submit my tags. After I click publish, my tags are now live. Heading back one more time into the LinkedIn campaign manager, I now have both of my conversion actions created. And again, both of them are event-based conversions. Since they are brand new, we see neither of these conversion actions have received a signal yet from our LinkedIn tags. Depending on how much traffic you get, in addition to how many times people actually perform the events that we're tracking on the site, it might take a little bit for a signal to start firing off. Keep checking back frequently to make sure that gray dot turns green. With just a simple refresh, I can see that I have signals received on both of my conversion actions, and now I'm comfortable using these conversion actions within my LinkedIn campaigns. I know the examples that I used are very basic, and most likely I wouldn't use these as actual goal conversion actions. They're just simple link clicks and video views, but most likely you've run across actions on your website that are very important that you can't track with the URL. And now you can see how easy it is to grab the event code within your campaign manager and set up those triggers and tags within Google Tag Manager and attributing these conversion actions to your specific LinkedIn campaigns. URL-based conversions are the most common way that we can track goals within LinkedIn ads, but now we know it's not our only option. Go to your website or go to your landing pages. Look at all the actions that users can take. Find the ones that are most valuable to you and then start recording them with Google Tag Manager. You can now set up those event actions as goals within the platform. 
And now we'll get a better understanding of how users are interacting with our ads, or maybe our ads and campaigns are converting a lot better than what we thought because we couldn't track some of these events before. If you find out that these events are actually performing really well, you're gonna have a lot more information to make the proper decisions to optimize your accounts. So start tracking some events and get the true data on how your account is actually performing. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you wanna see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.